okay now we are going to open one image file go to the file option open select the untitled file going to open it now the image is appear maximize it press control plus plus and for the zoom in and make it comfortable with the window now select the healing brush tool select the patch tool select the source option now where the rough surface is there of the image select that one and drop to where the smooth surface is there once again where the rough surface of the face is locating select there and drop to where the smooth surface is there same thing goes for the female also selecting now selecting the destination option now the in the destination option the process is like it's a reverse where the smooth surface is there select that one and drop it where the rough surface is there now press the space and go to the toolbar options select the clone tools now opacity is 100 adjust and make it 21 select the third bracket option and make the brush adjustable select the alter key of the surface and continuously click on the surface to get a smooth finishing of the surface continuously alter click alter click alter click it's like that to cloning the smooth surface towards the rough, rough surface and making it too much smooth and removing the pimples now towards the forehead some black spots is there to make it fine and smooth we are continuously doing the same process the cloning options continuously clicking on the forehead to make it more smooth and glow like a fair man now the left hand side is almost covered if anything mistake is there press ctrl z ctrl alt z for the step backward once again continuously do the same job the almost is going to finishing test yes it's going to cover up now the forehead is going to complete more smooth and fine now using this face tool we are going to move over that one now control plus for zooming the image to select the corner of the eye and the nose side which is the very fine portion make them also smooth the edge of the both side of the nose and the cheek side towards the braid the upper tones of the nose the left edge of the nose below the eye
towards the right portion of the face a bit rough surface is there using the same clone tool we can make it perfect and smooth now the left hand side is almost covered and the right hand side is a bit remaining going to fine right nose side cheek side the whole process is a little bit patientful if anything wrong is happen or any wrong click is going on press control alt z for the step backward now make it too much smooth if anything doubt is there for that reason you can press control plus and zoom in it continuously you can complete the whole process make each and every portion of the face perfect now towards the cheek side a little bit rough surface is there continuously doing the same process alt plus click left button of the mouse doing the right portion of the face now the edge of the face is going to cover up almost the work is going to finish now the total surface of the face is going to fine and smooth each and every corner of the face should be smooth otherwise it should be looks like odd portion now towards the neck continuously doing the same job to make it perfect to get the similar surface of the face now almost the face is going to finish now once again doing the same process using the clone tool the surface neat and smooth sometimes such a case was happen like unfortunately some mistakes is happen then we can do the same process the top portion of the nose and suppose something mistake happens on the surface now come to the actual position and we are watching on the screen that there is a little bit brightness and the face is too much bright and the edge is not uh, watching properly on the screen of the image now once again once again select the face portion of male and 
we are watching the face is not watching properly the age is already gone to rectify that things we are going to select history bus rule select the opacity 100 and click that particular portion round wise and return to the same positions of the picture now control Z to remove that one once again control Z is going to show the forward step now zoom to see the particular portions properly and once again using the cloning brush make it smooth a bit rough surface is there make it smooth yes now almost is going to complete now we can see the face is as well as the smooth skin both the side neck and to the whole face in case any mistake is happen then we can press ctrl z and we can get back to the same position now watching to the lips lower lips the corner portion making it smooth now the nose side left hand side it's a little bit edge is there which is not proportional with the face using the history tool we are going to get back the same image like the previous one once again using the clone tools we are making it smooth continuous click alter click left button of the mouse and we are getting the smooth surface now almost is going to cover yes now the face is totally complete and once again zoom it now it's over now once again history was click over the face once again to see what we did we are getting back to the previous skin or not we are com completely doing the same job and we are going to get back and once again control alt z to step backward now the all the rough surface is removed and seeing what is the difference between the history tools and to smooth the surface of the face now select the lesser tool to select the border before that now selecting the polygons tool and before that we are going to give the value of the feather 2 now going to select the border of the image continuously doing the same process the border of the image now control plus to see it properly the border 